I'm Bailey here at JTEC and today I'm going to show you two different types of braking systems. The first braking system I'm going to show you as you see here is uh, disc brakes. The disc brakes right here, you, this, this metal piece that goes all the way around is called your rotor. What happens is whenever you're going down the road, the rotor spins. The part that actually uh, stops your rotor from spinning are these little pads right here. The way that the pressure is applied to the pads is from the caliper, there's a line that goes back to the back of the caliper. It shoots pressure right into here and it holds, holds on uh, to the spreader. Right. This other piece right here, whatever, this is your uh, bleeder valve. Whenever you need to bleed your brakes, whenever there's air in the lines, usually it'll be squishy and the brakes are really not that good. So. You have one person inside the vehicle uh, that can push the brakes, the pedal down. Then you have one person outside, right here, next to this valve. You have the, you have the person inside the vehicle apply pressure to the brakes, and then you loosen this little nut right here, and brake fluid will shoot out along with uh, air. Usually on the first try. Uh, it doesn't usually get all the air out of line, so you'll have to repeat that process a couple of times. Also, too, make sure that they still have pressure on the pedal before you put this back in. Because if they if they release the pedal before you put the, this back in, it'll bring air back right into the lines, and then you're pretty much at step one again. Okay. Another part of this is this metal piece right here is your squealer. Whenever these brake pads get low, what happens is as you apply your brakes, I know you probably heard somebody in traffic or something, their brakes are really squeaky. Um, that's because of this right here. Whenever their uh, pads get low, this piece right here rubs on the rotor and it makes that god off the noise. That's usually an indicator that you need to replace your brakes. Personally, I like this brakes a lot better. They're a lot easier to work on and they're a lot better than drum brakes. Okay, that's the next part I'm going to show you. The next part I'm going to show you is drum brakes. So I'm going to come back here. Right here is your brake drum. The brake drum slides right over your hub. That's right here, over your brake tube. What happens here is this wheel cylinder right here, there's a line that comes back to the back side right here. As you apply pressure to the brakes, it puts pressure in, into this wheel cylinder, and it'll push these. See these little? It'll push these little uh, arms out. And it'll push these uh, brake shoes onto the back of the, the drum. That's how you get your stop powers. Just expand out and get the back of the drum. This right under here is your adjuster. You turn that back and forth to adjust the brakes in or out. Okay, and then right here, you got your uh, brake shoes. Whenever you uh, let off the brakes, this, these springs are the parts that pull the uh, shoes back in so they're not resting on your uh, brake drum. These ones are a lot more of a pain to uh, repair than disc brakes. Just feel the sheer fact of all these little springs right here, you'll have to take all these out and you'll have to get them in the right back, uh, back in the right spot exactly. And they always like to shoot out and all that, so it's a lot more. And, and not to mention they're, uh, they're a little bit less reliable than disc brakes. But uh, that's pretty much it.